today I'm going to play, do a second look at my X-Fly Glass Star 1200 meter high wing. So let's just check the surfaces and get this one flying down. As you see, I put some stickers on mine just to improve orientation because I think an all white R airplane will probably disappear more against a cloudy, cloudy sky. Today it's just a beautiful blue sky. Maybe not the best for filming, but it is. It doesn't have any problems to orientate this glass star anyhow. And I'm flying this on a 2200 milliamp battery. It is quite easy to fly this one. I've experienced that, that if you do do slower aerobatics, um, it might get a little bit confused. Uh, so I would definitely keep up speed while you do aerobatics. So it's not as fun to fly as some of my other RC airplanes uh, where I can really do slower uh, speed aerobatics, which is something I like very much. But it's not a bad flying RC airplane. I think you can expect, expect at least 6 or 7 minutes on a 2200 milliamp battery. So it's quite efficient. Then you have this really large and air filled wheels as well which I, I thought at the beginning was, would be a really good choice of wheels but they also like to bounce so let's get this one down then it's trying to avoid the the jogger but it, the takeoff is really super simple and easy and short so yeah, I would just recommend to keep up speed with this RC airplane. You don't have to fly too fast, but when you do aerobatics and when you turn, uh, keep up speed because I've experienced, uh, you know, stall, the crash with this one. So let's just get it down then. And as you can see, I, I think you should really fly this one into landing and not try to, to flare it too much. Let's do a touch and go landing then. Let's keep up speed. Get it up again. So I think the, the landing gears already start to splay out. So that's something to be aware of. So I thought this RC airplane would, would actually be more fun to fly, but I do enjoy my other 1.2 meter wingspan RC airplane more than this one. Although it doesn't fly bad, it's, it's a really nice flying RC airplane, but I mean, uh, I think these landing gears when they do splay out, I think they could have chosen kind of better material or it's a little bit heavy when you land actually. So you just fly into the landing and you will be fine actually. So let's get this one up in the air and again. And you don't need much runway or almost no runway if you just jank the throttle stick and get it up in the air. You can see the red markings I've done with tape. So uh, it's easy to tell uh, where I have the wings. I don't think it looks too good with the all white finish either. The market is really stuffed with good 1.2 need to wingspan our airplane so it's just difficult to to you know differentiate yourself from other RC airplanes so 
it gets, let's get up again. I mean, as long as I have a little bit of speed, I just push the throttle and it jumps into the air. So a really short takeoff. So as you can see, I think you should really fly into the landing and avoid the, the airfield tires to bounce too much. And also to save the aluminum landing gears. So I'm keeping throttle quite high because I know from experience that um, yeah, it might stall if you don't. And it doesn't roll too fast either. And my experience when I've done some really tight loops and rolls that I start to, uh, to become squirrely. If you really <laughs> do try to land and, and regret it, you can surely just push out of it. So half a minute left on the timer. I have no worries because I know that this one can keep on flying. But let's get it down. Oh, it does really bounce. Cannot end the kind of bouncy land. I can already see that the landing gears are really splayed out quite a lot. So let's try and make this smooth then. It's still bouncy, and that's just uh, you know one thing I have to be aware of that it, it will bounce if you do a steep angle on approach and touch the the ground. So the last attempt then is to make some sort of smooth landing. So much better when you actually fly and have a nice glide slope down then it works great. And it's really rough terrain this field right now so it will bounce around. You can see that the, the left leg is actually splayed out really severe. So uh, and, uh, that's my opinions about this X-Fly Glassstar.